We want to thank the Lord God Almighty once again for another opportunity to gather this hour to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. I want to welcome you to another crossover, another testimony of God's faithfulness. It began with us this month of May and in His goodness and mercy is leading us through to another end of the month. To God Almighty be glory, honor and praise for all times and for all seasons in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is a unique opportunity God offers you and offers me that we might have a great, a, a great moment to receive something spectacular that takes us through the month. A revelation that came that when we gather for this crossover, we receive a unique and a special grace of the Lord. So we really want to say thank you, Lord, for connecting us to yourself and connecting us to the power of your presence. And as you lead us from one point to another, we ask that your presence will be mighty in our lives. We need to learn how to fight our laziness. We need to learn how to fight the things that drag us down. We cannot fight a battle when we are not alert or alive. We cannot fight a battle when we have become weak and we have surrendered to our struggle, we have surrendered to our weaknesses, we have surrendered to our laziness, we have surrendered to everything that pulls us down. And we are unwilling, we are unwilling to, to fight our way through. We must understand that God has given us the power to fight our way through every danger. And if you take out your time to observe even the smallest creature that you can think of, when he faces danger, he fights his way through. He doesn't just surrender to the danger and surrender to whatever that is willing to knock it down. He fights his way through. How much more we made in God's special image and likeness. We need to learn how to fight our way through. True enough, the enemy will always long and desire to knock us down. It is their wish to make sure that we don't rise, that we are incapacitated. But in all of this, you must fight your way through. This is something the Lord wants to bring to our understanding as we cross over from this month to a new month. For the power, for the grace to fight your way through. You must tell yourself you can't surrender. You can't give up. You can't say it is over. You can't say I am tired. You can't say I can no longer go on. No. Rather, seek the strength of the Lord and tell yourself, I can do it. The Bible says, I am more than conqueror. Through Christ who gives me strength. It says, I can do all things. Yes. Yes, you can. Because this is the reason we wait on the Lord. To renew our strength in order to be able to go through this month with more determination. And I am asking you that you must tell yourself, 
I am ready, I am willing, I can do it. And I know that the grace, the power, the anointing to get this through is going to be made available for you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is something very, very unique that God spoke to me about this month that we are about to go in. And I want you to understand this as we prepare to welcome Jesus uh, to the Holy of Holies. Uh, he said that there are what you call grace. And I'm sure we all know something about grace. That this is a free gift of God. A free gift of God we need. It enables us to be able to do more without so much effort. Uh, it strengthens us in our struggles. Grace empowers us to skip through when we feel unwilling and grace comes, we find something pushing us. And uh, this God always will give to everyone who come into his presence. Even as we gather at this hour, there is a grace upon your life. There is a special grace that God is uh, imparting to you so that you are able to connect yourself to the power that you need to be able to get to your next level. But then he is not just talking about grace, he's talking about a unique kind of grace, a special kind of grace, a specific kind of grace. And I asked the Lord, Lord, what are you talking about? What do you mean by unique grace, specific grace? Um, what is the difference between this grace and the grace that you pour upon mankind? And, and the Lord says that this is a kind of grace that comes not often. It is not a kind of grace that comes every time you gather um, when we pray. It is not the kind of grace that you know, follow us every time we you meet. Know, no, he said, God delivers this grace at a specific time. You, you remember, let me give this example, when God um, destroyed the world with flood and Noah made a sacrificial offering unto the Lord. When God saw what was done, he made a vow never to destroy the world again by flood. And the symbol was the rainbow. And every time the rainbow appears, we say, oh, God remembers his covenant. So the appearance of the rainbow reminds us that there is something unique that is happening. Now God is saying that there are moments in people's life that they receive this unique grace. Nobody knows when, but it comes. Now, let me also give the uh, example of what the scripture presented about the man that was sick for 38 years. And the scripture says that once a while, the angel of the Lord comes and stirs up the water. And anyone who have the opportunity of jumping into that water gets killed, gets healed. That is the kind of unique grace I'm talking about. That when God releases it, there is something that is delivered into a life that makes a man get whole. And this grace has nothing to do with Faith. It has nothing to do with your believing. If you're there and you are opportune at the time it came, it turns your life around. The story of St. Augustine is one of such. I know that St. Augustine has been listening to the word of God for years. But on that fateful day, he, he came into the church and the bishop, Ambrose, was 
proclaiming God's word. And that was the moment that turned the life of Augustine around. Everything about his life changed. What happened there was not because Augustine was not listening to God's word before. No, it happened that that was the moment God releases that specific grace that when a man gets in touch with that grace, he turns everything around for him. And I'm saying, God says that the sixth month that we are about to cross into is one of such a uh, moment that people will be opportuned to receive the specific grace that will turn their lives around. And I am praying God with you and for you that through this month we are about to enter through this crossover that we all offer together the power of that grace will be released upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ so when we talk about this grace it is God committing himself to your situation to all you can become alive it is God's redeeming act, creating exceptional solution. Creating exceptional solution. That is what the Lord God says. I want to release my special grace for as many that will be opportune. And I am endlessly praying that every one of us connected to this hour will be beneficiary to that exceptional grace of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will not be missing out the moment, the time, the hour that God is going to rain down such an amazing grace upon the lives of everyone. It is this kind of grace, if you like, that located Mary, when the angel came to her and said, you have found favor. She's always found favor. But when this grace came, he said, this time, God has chosen you to be the mother of my son. That is that unique, exceptional grace I am talking about that singles the person out and turns his life around. And we celebrate her so much all over the world in the church because of this exceptional grace. And also, if, if you like, this is the kind of grace that found Elizabeth. Imagine Elizabeth and Zachariah have been praying for years, seeking God's face. They love God, they worship God, but nothing happened. When the time for that exceptional grace came, God found them out. That is what this exceptional grace does. It finds you out from where you have been cast into and it lifts you up and puts you on the top again. And you understand why when Zachariah was trying to argue and doubt rather than messing up the grave, because it was an exceptional moment. And he doesn't miss his target. He cannot return back to God. It has to fulfill the purpose for which God sent it. That is what it means for it to be exceptional. And God silenced um, Zachariah because he cannot allow that grace to pass by, it was just an exceptional. Your wife, Elizabeth, is going to conceive. That is the kind of exceptional grace I am connecting you to through this crossover today. You also will think about uh, people like, you know, of course the man at the pool for 38 years, uh, he's been there and Jesus Christ said, do you want to be healed? That is an exceptional grace. Where the struggle cannot take you through, when exceptional grace appears in your life, something begins to happen. And that was how this man, God is healing. Everything about him was made whole. That is the exceptional grace. And I'm saying it has nothing to do with you deserving it or not. 
No, nothing. And and that will be like the story of Peter when when Jesus Christ was ministering to the crowd and he found two boats. Two boats. And he said to that of Peter, put out a little, let me use your boat. That is where an exceptional grace comes in. And after Jesus finished ministry, he said to Peter, cast your nets. Cast your nets. And everything they have labored all through the night and caught nothing. But he said, at your word. Not because Peter was specially prepared for it. Grace found him out. And this is my prayer for you this sixth month that the grace of God will find you out. You know why it's so unique? God said to Mary, your cousin Elizabeth is in her sixth month pregnant. The woman whom people call barren, whom men have mocked, she is in her sixth month. So six months ago, God delivered the exceptional grace. Six months after, He's delivering another exceptional grace in the life of Mary. And I am telling you, as we are about to enter another six months in our life, there shall be exceptional grace for you, Regan. And this grace will find you and turn your life around. I pray for the nations of the world. I pray for the nations of the world. At the beginning of this year, I shared a message the Lord gave that there's going to be war, there's going to be starvation in the land. And Lord, what we will do is that all we need to do is to pray. And I want to say that what the Lord said is already going on. In our own country here in Nigeria, war has already started. Innocent lives shared, uh, blood being shed every moment, especially for our brothers and sisters in the eastern part. But I am saying that this is not going to be everything. Those in the east, those in the north, those in the uh, northeast, all of these bloodshed, war has already started and uh, there is just one thing we need, the grace of the Lord. I, I have seen so much video of killings, of bloodshed from the north to the east to the west and all of these are all bearing testimony to what the Lord said. And we are all witnesses to the starvation that is already happening around us. So I am praying and I am asking you to join us to pray that God will again release the exceptional grace that will protect his children. Because it must happen. We cannot say, don't let it happen. We can only pray, Lord, shorten the time. Let the time be shortened for the sake of the elect, as Jesus Christ has said and promised. So we pray for our brethren in the east, in the middle belt, in the north, and some part of the west where killings and bloodshed are going on right now. And I know that it's going to split to other areas. We pray earnestly for God's mercy. There is so much evil in the land. Darkness is already taking over the lives of many and people will no longer have regard for their fellow human beings. Uh, we, we heard recently again that about 70 people were slain in Beno State. 70 and nothing is happening. The government is paralyzed. The government is empty. The, the, go the government is dead. Nothing is being done, and, and sometimes I just keep wondering what is going on. But you see, the Lord says, If my people will humble themselves and pray, 
and they will repent of their sin. God says, I will once again forgive their sins and heal the land. I want to invite every one of us to join in together to say prayer for our nations and the nations of the world. The trouble is just starting and we don't even know how long it's going to last. Only God knows and only our prayers will make it so. So we connect to the grace of God's mercy this very hour, this crossover, that mercy regain will speak and grace will find us out. And that God will again take his rightful place in our affairs and the affairs of the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the real global pandemic. The killings, the bloodshed, this is the real global pandemic. And I want to say that in, in just less than a month, people that have died are far more than people that ever died of the coronavirus we're talking about. And, and, and I'm saying the powers that be, where are they? Are they not seeing people dying? Are they not hearing the news? What have they said about this? What have they, what concern have they shown concerning what is going on in Nigeria, some part of the world? There is nothing to show care for except the things that they want to make more money for. They know that in this they are going to deliver resources to be able to help the people. But nobody is speaking anything yet. We're talking about the coronavirus that is not killing as much as we are experiencing in less than one month. And the leaders of the world are not moved by what is going on. This is the real pandemic and there is so much fear and trouble in the land. And I'm saying this is where the world must come together and fight the evil in men's hearts and stop using humans as a means to make economic gain for themselves. There is so much selfishness and so much wickedness. Wherever people have no gain, they throw up their faces. They don't care what happened to their brothers. They don't care what happened to their sisters. But I am saying, if we don't care what is going on in one part of the world, then very soon, just like the oil that touches a finger and rubs on the rest of the finger, very soon we will all be dragged into it. Let no man say, it is not near me yet. When you hear a gunshot near you, it means that it is just coming close to where you are. We must never ever give up. And I want to to speak to the hearts of this nation, to the hearts of those who feel the matter in this nation, to the heart of those that have received the grace of God to be in a position to make it different for this nation. You've got to rise and you've got to speak. There are some things that must be suspended until things are put right. In this nation, a lot of things have to be suspended. I, I hear people are sitting down talking about constitutional review. There is no need for any constitutional review when the government sitting does not even believe in the constitution. What are you reviewing when those who are right there don't even respect the constitution? What we should be demanding is that for us to sit down to review a constitution, the government must begin to respect the constitution that is already there. They must begin to respect it. We should stop sitting down and, and be paid for sitting down to talk rubbish and things that has no impact on those dying. We need to call our government to order. And if they are not willing to make a move to do positive things, then we need to make a demand that they get out of where they are. They are there by our power, and only by our power can we get them out. 
things are wrong and this Nigerian government is actually a dead government and I, I, I feel a nation where blood is being shed day and night and the leaders have no concern and all this they keep thinking of is amassing wealth for themselves something is wrong they said those the gods want to destroy they first make them foolish and i think if our leaders do not read the handwriting on the wall they are about to perish few months ago the lord said many will begin to die and i would say that so beloved in christ join us to pray as we welcome the lord jesus christ upon this holy altar all we have and our weapon is prayer and those who think that prayer cannot change anything they are wasting their time and i'm saying you lie you lie when we pray god knows how to raise up what is needed to fight and defend his children Nigeria belongs to Jesus and Nigeria will be saved again and the world will be saved again. May Jesus Christ, the Eucharistic Lord, bless again the hearts of every man, bless every home, every life connected to this hour that you will find the exceptional grace needed to be defended to be strengthened and to be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we we'll welcome the Lord to his holy place. Lord Jesus, you are the most high. Lord Jesus, you are Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, you are Lord Jesus, the most high. Lord Jesus, you are the most high.
the Most High God, and that is whom you are. We bless you as you take your place in our lives this very hour. will celebrate you for whom you are. You are so amazing, so kind, so merciful, so compassionate. You have gathered us to yourself again this very hour. Forgive us our sins. Forgive us our sins. Forgive the sins of our leaders. Forgive the sins of our nations and the nations of the world. For the sake of the elect, O oh God, do not despise us. Do not forsake us. Do not leave us alone. Hear us, Lord. We are on our knees pleading, Lord, that as you again show mercy, you will pour down your exceptional grace. We have no power of our own. You are the Lord of glory. Upon our knees, Lord, we pray for every family, every home, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, every child. Lord, grant that many would find your exceptional grace. By the power of your name shall we prevail. By the authority of your word shall we triumph. By the prize of your precious blood shall we once again be victorious. Lord, let your grace, let your name, let your blood speak once again for our land and for our people. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the glorious name of Jesus Christ. In the magnificent name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us rise and praise the Lord and just thank Him, the amazing God that has led us through the month of this year and bringing us to the end of another month. We want to appreciate him for the special grace that will also be made available for us in the sixth month we are about to enter. Wherever you are, let's, let's celebrate God. Let's thank him. Even from this very hour, God's exceptional grace will begin to fall, fall upon your life. Uh, I, I, I don't know what you are going through, but just know that God is locating you right now. And the purpose of God and is designed for your life will again be revealed as we honor him together in the name of Jesus Christ. Can someone say Amen? Immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, how great thou art! Immortal God, invisible. 
you on the Alpha. You remember and Omega, and we say we worship you, Lord. We worship you, our God. Forgive us, oh Lord, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to begin to pray for divine protection in these days of troubles and bloodshed. Let's pray for divine protection. As we pray for ourselves, we are praying for many we don't even know. Those innocent people walking on the streets, those people who are busy in their farms and they are slain, let us ask the Lord to protect his people, to protect our life, to give us divine protection in these days of trouble. Divine protection as there are so much bloodshed everywhere. Even somewhere abroad we end about the shooting of people. Everywhere there is trouble, everywhere there is confusion. Father, give us your protection again. Let your protection be over us. Let your banner be lifted again over our lives. Your word says your love for us is the banner of God over us. And your word has shown us that when we come into the secret place of the Most High and declare you as our refuge, you will shield us from the thousands that fall by our side and the tens of thousands that fall by our right. You said, Lord, they will not approach us. You promise us, Lord, that the arrows that fly by day and by night shall not come near our dwelling. Father, only your divine protection can make this possible. Protect us, your children. Protect us, your children. Protect us, your children. Defend us by your power and save us from the troubles and the many bloodshed in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm asking you to pray for strength. We all need strength to hold on, to keep holding on to God. Many will fall in the days of trouble. With this bloodshed, many will fall and some will come back to the Lord. I want you to begin to pray God for strength. The Lord is our strength. He is the strength of the people's sight. Amen. God is my strength. Tell the Lord that He will become your strength. Your strength in these days of trials. Your strength in these days of trouble. Your strength through the storms of life. Your strength through whatever you are passing through today. I want you to pray for strength. Lord, the strength to hold on to you. No matter what, let the sky fall. Let the river dry up. Lord, I want to continue to hold on to you. Fill me with strength this hour. Fill me with your strength, Father. Fill me with your strength, King of glory. Fill me with your strength. I am that I am. Strength, Lord, to survive. Strength, Lord, to survive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I want you to also speak blessing into the sixth month. Speak blessing into the sixth month. That God Almighty will bless the sixth month for you. Remember, the angel said to Mary, your cousin Elizabeth is in her sixth month. So six months ago, God visited. Six months after, God visited. In this six months, pray for divine visitation for your life. Tell the Lord, Lord, I speak blessing into my six months, and I ask, Lord, that there will be divine visitation. Visitation that will bring about change, healing, deliverance, Visitation that will bring about transformation. Visitation, Lord, that would make me to experience exceptional grace. I bless my six months, the month of June. I sanctify it, Lord. I speak your word into it. Lord, it shall be well with your children in this six months. They will be protected in this six months. They will be strengthened in this six months. They will rise in this six month. They will experience something as never before in this six month. Oh God Almighty, honor your glory, honor your presence, honor your power in our six months in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as you pray for this month, ask that the presence of God will go with you and prevail for you. That the presence of God will go with you and it will prevail for you. Father, let your presence go with us. In this six months, everywhere we go, everywhere we turn, everywhere we look at, let your presence go with us. Your presence is our confidence. Your presence is our shield. 
Your presence is our strength. Your presence is our life. Your presence is our courage. Your presence is everything we have. Lord, let your presence go with us. Moses said, if your presence will not go with us, Lord, don't take us beyond this place. If your presence will not go with us, don't let us cross over, Lord. Because only by your presence can the world know that you are with us and we belong to you. Father, we pray for that glorious presence, the Shekinah glory. Let it go with us. Let it accompany us. And let it prevail for our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we pray for that specific and special grace to meet our needs. What are your needs? What are the things happening to you? What are the challenges you are going through? What are the things you have been hoping for for years? I want you to pray this hour that the specific, the unique and the special grace of God will locate you. As he located the man for 38 years, as he located the man that has that was born blind, as he located Bartimaeus that was sitting begging when suddenly he received his restoration, as he located the woman that has visited doctors everywhere and her condition was growing worse, but when she touched Jesus, when she touched grace, everything changed. As it changed and delivered the daughter of the woman that had been tortured by the demons. As it touched the life of that man that begged for the life of his son. I'm asking you to ask that the specific, unique and special grace of God that is coming in this six month will locate your needs. Whatever your need is, when this grace comes, it breaks you. When this grace comes, it, nothing can withstand its power. Nothing can withstand the flow. Pray that this grace will not pass you by this is month. Pray that this grace will connect your life, will connect your destiny this is more. It doesn't matter how long you have suffered. It doesn't matter how much you have prayed and fasted. This month is going to be a month where people will experience exceptional, exceptional unique grace. Pray that whatever your needs are, whatever your needs are, this grace will meet you. Even as you are connected this hour, you are already being blessed. I don't care what the enemies have done. When this grace comes, the enemy will lose their power. When this grace comes, things will turn around again. Pray for this exceptional grace as never before to come upon your life to locate you in this six months you will be getting into. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise him for the exceptional, unique, special grace that you have promised, Lord, that is coming upon the face of the earth again. Send down this grace, Lord, even as once you send down the grace upon many. Many have enjoyed this grace and their lives have been turned around. They didn't know that it was the grace that came that brought them to where they are. But Lord, we know that the exceptional grace located them. It wasn't by chance. It wasn't by law. It wasn't just because someone came. You made it possible. You used men. That is the exceptional grace. Whatever the instrument, Lord, to meet our needs. Father, let there be exceptional grace in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want you to bring out your weapon as we pray. In this weapon, we will mention grace more than 50 times. And I'm asking that this weapon we connect your life to the exceptional grace that will deliver your blessing.
by the power of his name, by the authority of his presence and his word. God will bring down the grace needed to tap strength for your life that will change your story. I am asking even for that grace that will meet cases that doctors have given up on. And they say there is nothing they can do. When you see a man coming back to life when he has been declared dead, it meant exceptional grace. When that grace touches you at that point, nothing can stop it from fulfilling its purpose. I am asking and praying, Lord, don't let this grace pass us by. In this sixth month, don't let this grace pass us by. In the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to thank you for speaking and revealing this to us. And as we know, we connect ourselves to your word this hour. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to use the joyful mystery. And that the joy of the Lord will never stop flowing. When the heart of a man is filled with joy, it's easier to get into this grace. I pray that the sorrow that will want to deny you this grace will lose its power. The sadness that will want to deny you this grace will lose its power. The events of the past that will be brought to your memory in order to secrete sadness and sorrow so that you will not be dead when the grace will come down. May the power of this grace destroy that memory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the enemy will not use your past to torment your presence and deny the grace for your future. May the power from this weapon of our prayer break every act that the enemy will use to fight your joy in the name of Jesus Christ. So I lift up the first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. You will find graces to meet your specific need. The word of God says in Luke chapter 1, 36 to 37, it says, remember your relative Elizabeth. It is said, that she cannot have children. Did you hear that? It is said. It is said. That she cannot have children. But I want you to know. That she, she herself is now. Six months pregnant. Even though she is very old. Do you hear what the word of God says? Conditions that make things impossible when this exceptional, special grace, specific grace finds you, all of this condition will bow. As I raise this rosary for you today, I pray that the powerful and gracious God who make some things beautiful in this time will connect you to the power of that grace. The grace that will change your situation. The grace that will level your mountain. The grace that will raise you up again. That that grace that found Elizabeth and turned away the mockery of men from her. That grace will find you again. That the power of that grace will find you again. That what men have used to laugh at you will become the very cause for your celebration. What men have used to laugh at you will become the very cause for your celebration. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Our Father what's in heaven, I love your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our Father, Amen. At this feast, ill Mary, may grace find you. Your six months be blessed in the name of Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell. Lead us us to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation, I want you to pray that God will grant you uncommon grace to change your condition. Uncommon grace to change your condition. The word of God says in John chapter 8, verses 4 to 5 and verse 11. It says, Teacher, they said to Jesus, This woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. In our law, Moses commanded that such a woman must be stoned to death. Now, what do you say? Now what do you say? Uncommon grace. For a woman and everybody was against. Yes, a woman that was guilty, no doubt. A woman that was to be tortured, no doubt, because she was caught. They said the one they caught is the guilty one. The one that was not caught is a free man. Uh -uh. That is the injustice of our world. And they said it has been written she had to be stoned to death. That means there is nothing that can change it because it has been written. And they asked Jesus, what do you say? 
I don't know your situation and what you have been passing through. You're probably in this condition because it has been written. Written by the hands of wicked men and women. Written by the covenant that was entered into by your parents or ancestors. Written when you were living in ignorance and you will go to places you shouldn't go to. Written when you made a demand unknowingly to you that it was selling you off. Written when you choose to do an act of goodness that is being turned against you to destroy your life, your lineage. They said it has been written. Maybe it has been written that you will never get married. Maybe it has been written that you will not have children or your children will never have children. That you, parents, will never celebrate your children. Maybe it has been written that even if you go to school, you will never get a job. Maybe it has been written that even if you get a job and you're working, you will never complete that project. Maybe it has been written that you will never go to school because nobody goes to school in this home. Maybe it has been written that your life will be useless. Maybe it has been written that you will die sick. Maybe it has been written and they said, it has been written that the woman must be stoned to death. And now they said, teacher, what do you say? I am taking my time to pray for you this hour. In this mystery of divine visitation, I am taking my time to pray for you. And that whatever has been written, against you today by the power of this mystery shall become useless and unfruitful. This is what Jesus says to you now. Whatever they have written, whatever men have written, if they say that it has been written that you will die, I am saying to you now, that what they have written is, a, is hereby annulled by the grace you are receiving now. If it has been written that you will be sick, this is what the Lord said to you. By the grace you are receiving now, that sickness is hereby annulled and destroyed. If it has been written, that you will never be fruitful. This is what the Lord is telling you. <laughs> you will have your children. At the end of the main devotion prayer this evening, one of my workers came to me and said, Father, tomorrow, I'm going for my defense. And he said, for six years, for six years, I have been on this program. And tomorrow, the sixth year, the completion of the sixth year, we have been called to come and defend. Ah, Lord, I bless you for the exceptional grace meeting the condition of your children. Whatever the enemies have written concerning their life, by the power of your divine visitation, it is hereby cancelled. And Jesus said, well then, I do not condemn you either. Go, but do not sin again. By the power of this divine grace, I set you free 
from every wicked handwriting. I set your home free. I set your family free. I set your children free. I set your life free. I set your destiny free. I set you free from every written condemnation. The master said, no more will you be condemned. For the word of God says there is now no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. May the power of this grace today set you free from every written condition. Be free of your condition. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. Our Father, what in heaven, our Lord, we name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. In this season, prayer, May the power of God's grace change your condition. May the power of grace change your condition. May the power of grace change your condition. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And if there be anyone who is 6 years, 12 years, 18 years, married and no fruitfulness, I command that the grace of the sixth hour, the sixth month, the sixth year, the sixth day shall change your condition. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruit of your own Jesus. Hail Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death, amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruits of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruits of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is none ever shall be one without him. Amen. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fire of our Lead us to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. And we say, Jesus, have mercy on us. Blessed Virgin Mary, help us. And the torch, joyful mystery, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm asking God to remember you and give you the strength of grace to win this battle against your enemies.
everyone that has made himself or herself your enemy. Be it in the place of work, be it at home, household enemy, be it in your neighborhood, be it from the village or from the city, the town, be it from friends, from colleagues, be it from husband or wife, children or parents, relatives, they have made themselves enemy to fight you and destroy everything God designed for you. This weapon is raised to ask the Lord for strength for your life. Hear what the word of God says in Judges 16, 28. Then something called to the Lord and said, O Lord God, please remember me and please strengthen me just this one time. O God, let me take vengeance on the Philistines for my two eyes. I'm asking God to remember you. Whatever the wicked have done against you, may God remember you. And may the Lord give you strength this one more time to win this battle. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, by the bed of Jesus, you showed that no matter what human beings do, what you say will happen. When they close the door for Mary and Joseph, when the time had come, everywhere they knocked, they said, sorry, nothing here. But Lord, you showed that you can still do things without the aid of men. I pray for your children this hour. I pray for your children this very hour. I pray for that man, that woman, that boy, that girl this hour. Lord, remember that child. Remember that woman. Remember that man. Remember that boy. Remember that girl. Father, the reason we are still standing is because of you. We pray you, Lord, that if you do not fight on our side, the enemies would have long destroyed everything about us. Father, I pray Remember your children again. This one more time, this six months, remember your children again. Remember your children again. As you did remember Samson and gave him strength over his foes, give your children strength to win this battle against their enemies. For all they have done to them, hear us, Lord. Hear us for all the enemies of the Lord to spoil the lives of your children. Remember them and give them strength for recovery. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Amen. Our Father, what in heaven, I will be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us to stay our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now the Alpha and Death Amen. You Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Amen. And in this season, grace of this prayer, may the Lord give you victory over all your battles. Whatever the wicked have done against you, may the power of grace give you strength to begin to conquer. At any time in your life, whatever evil they have done to bring this condition upon you, this unfavorable condition at this ceased grace of this mystery of this prayer of this Hail Mary may the power of the living God for the sixth hour for the sixth moment for the sixth time come upon you to change that condition in Jesus holy name we pray amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruits of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruits of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruits of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was at the beginning, is now and ever shall be. What we thought and amen. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fire of hell. Lead our souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. The fourth joyful mystery. The presentation of Jesus Christ in the temple. And I pray this mystery that God's visitation for your life will save you. Ah, Lord, do you know that Simeon? Senior was a beneficiary of this exceptional grace. The scripture says he had prayed and the Holy Spirit confirmed that prayer that he would not see death until he set eyes. On the Lord, the Messiah of the Lord. And it happened that the day Jesus was brought into the temple, Simeon walked in. And as he lifted this child, the Spirit testified that your desire has been fulfilled. Father, you have spoken into the lives of your children, into the lives of our people, our nation. I pray that there will be the grace that will connect us to the fulfillment of your word. I pray that God will visit us again and save our people, save our children, save our family, 
save our home from the hands of the wicked. And this is what the word of God says in Exodus chapter 3 verse 7. Then the Lord said, I have seen how cruelly my people are being treated. I have seen how cruelly my people have been treated in Egypt. I have heard them cry, cry out to be rescued from their slave drivers. I know all about their suffering. And God said, I have come to deliver my children. Please open your hands. Father, King of glory, I thank you for your children. Oh Lord, there is so much trouble in the land. So much blood being shed. So much cruelty, so much evil by wicked hearts against the land, against our people, against our family, against our children. Hear our cry, Lord. Hear our cry and come to us. Visit us with your power. Visit us with your power. Visit us with your power. And rescue us again from the evil destroying us destroying our land and contending against our glory. Save us from our suffering, Lord. Save us from bloodshed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father, what's in heaven, I will be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You must this stay and deliberate. And forgive us our trespasses, loud as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the Amen. I want you to respond louder as much as you can wherever you are. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. And the Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Amen. In the name of Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. In the name of Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our Amen. And in this time, may the power of God be revealed in your life. The God who saw how the Israelites were being oppressed in Egypt, may God look down and see how the wicked are oppressing your destiny. May the God who heard the cry of the children of Israel against their slave drivers. May the same God hear your cry that has come out from the oppression against your life. And the God who said, I will come down and save you. May God, by this sixth time of our prayer, Come powerfully to save you. Save you from the powers and clutches of the enemies. Save you from the clutches of the wicked. 
and sets your hope free to leave again the joy of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Bless the you among women and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. In the name of the Mother of God, who for us sins and the earth of the Father. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Bless the you among women and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. In the name of the Mother of God, pray for us sins and the earth of the Father. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Amen, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, and now the hour of God for me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Amen, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, and now the hour of God for me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now they are for death and all. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, one without a Amen. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead our souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. And we lift up this fifth mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. I'm asking that God's mercy will be upon our nation and the nations of the world. In the name of Jesus. I pray for Nigeria, the land of our men. And I pray for every nation connected to this prayer. May the mercy of God for your sake come upon your nation. Second Chronicles 7, 14 to 15 says, If my people If they will humble themselves and pray to me and repent and turn away from their evil they are doing, then I will hear them in heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. I will make their land prosperous again. I will watch over this temple and be ready to hear all the prayers that are offered here. Father, we humble ourselves before you. When I came into this sanctuary as we were praying, the Lord said, take off your shoe and stand on the background, which I am doing right now and since we began prayer. May this holy ground upon which I stand may the God who lives here and reigns here show mercy to your life. Lord, show mercy to this nation and the nations of the world. Forgive our sins and the sins of our leaders. The sins of our ministers. Men and women who should be leading us in righteousness. But have turned to evil. Forgive us, Lord. I pray for many servants of the Lord all over the world that have lost faith in the power of God's presence. A priest that came for consultation was telling me of an experience with a brother priest 
he was living with. And who said, what is this prayer thing about? Forget this prayer. It doesn't make any sense. And the church had just asked us to, 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 to make people just believe that this can work. And many more things. My heart was pierced. But then it's true. When Jesus said to Peter, the devil has sought permission to squeeze you. But when you rise, strengthen your brothers. I pray for many servants of God that are losing faith and have lost faith. Men who should strengthen the faith of those they lead. And now destroying the faith of those they lead. Please, Holy Spirit, hear us and save your children. Bring these ones back to the light of faith and truth. Rescue them from where the enemy have locked them. As many that have been spiritually caged and have been used to carry out the mission of the enemy. Lord, break that cage in the name of Jesus. Heal them and make them prosperous in faith again. I pray for God's children as well. Many who are losing faith because of the happiness in their lives. I pray for you. And the woman tests me, chatting, chatting me, said, my son said he's losing faith in God. Jesus said, blessed are you if you will not lose me to me because of the things happening. Father, I pray for these ones. I raise the grace of this ministry. Jesus was found in the temple. Let grace find them out again. Let grace find them out again. Let grace find them out again. In the name of Jesus. The weak will become strong. The dying will live again. Those that have been spiritually caged will be set free from that prison. For us, Lord, your children whom you have kept this far, sustain us more with your grace. We will not fail. We will not fall. We will not die. We will not fail. We will not fall. We will not die. We will not fail. We will not fall. We will not die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our Father, what in heaven, I will be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the stay of deliberate. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now they are for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And bless us the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Bless the you among women, and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour for death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Bless the you among women, and bless us the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed the fruit of your womb, Jesus. In the Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of death. Amen. And in this sixth time, the grace of God will impart your life. <laughs> and I notice that, and you too will notice that is a is a natural thing. When you stand on bare fruit on the ground that is chilled, cold, for some period of time, that particular spot will get warm. That particular spot will get warm. And that is exactly what the Lord brought to my mind as I shifted to another point. I am asking that the grace of God will impart your destiny. Just as the man stand on the ground for a period of time and the cold ground receives warmth, so too for staying with the Lord this time, for seeking the face of God this time, this hour will impart your destiny. For holding up to the Lord thus far, despite the challenges and the problems you have been going through, for holding up to the Lord your God, I say to you in the name of Jesus, your long suffering will impact your life positively. Just as the cold ground receives warmth for standing on it for a period of time, so too shall grace grace your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, every time you spend with the Lord will impact your destiny and make it different for you in the name of Jesus. In this year of rebuilding, because you trusted and hold on to God, God will rebuild your life. There will be want for you again. There will be want for your coldness. There will be want for your coldness. In the name of Jesus Christ. When one of the signs of someone dying or dead is you feel certain temperature of the body. The want begin to go down and it gets cold and that shows that life has gone out may the grace of this mystery bring back life into you the enemy will not withstand this weapon of prayer the evil ones will not withstand this weapon of prayer they will not withstand your life anymore the power of God coming into you, the grace of God falling upon you, the wicked will not withstand it anymore. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may this is time prayer we offer. Change your condition for good. So shall it be. So will it be, so must it be. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. The Mary Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. The Mary Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners now on the hour of Bethlehem. Your Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now on the hour of Bethlehem. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and bless the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, Lord without end. Amen. Precious Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell, lead our souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Jesus, have mercy on us. Blessed Virgin Mary, help us. Jesus, have mercy on us. Blessed Virgin Mary, help us. Jesus, have mercy on us. Blessed Virgin Mary, help us. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hear our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor body children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Tell the most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show them to us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet virgin Mary. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, to may be made well of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, the solid begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, as purchased for us the reward of eternal salvation. Grant we beseech you that meditate upon this mystery in the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saints Peter and Paul, pray for us. Our guardian angels, bless and protect us. And all you angels and saints of God, pray for us. Father, thank you so much for this beautiful hour, for this wonderful privilege you have given to us to cross over. I thank you because our feet are standing in the sixth month and we are privileged to see how things can change miraculously even without notice. Father, I pray today for every man, every woman you have led into this holy place. Release, Lord, the blessings of the sixth month upon their lives. Father, I pray that just as you remember your children from of old. So even now, may everyone who stand before you today, kneel or sit before you today, be covered with grace. Grace that will protect you from the arrows of the wicked. Those who have been mocking you, we bow their head in shame. For the grace of the living God rests upon your life. I bless this month of June for you. In this month of June, you will be justified. You will be undeniably blessed. You will never lack the exceptional grace for divine touch. This is your June, justified, undeniably blessed, never lack exceptional grace. May this month be blessed for you. May this month save you. May this month deliver you. Whatever that goes on in the spirit realm in your dreams, 
May this month be exceptional to deliver victory into your life. I openly declare before God that your life will speak grace. Your life will lead grace. And your life will produce grace. And your life will testify to the grace at work in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If there is anyone who wants to bless water and salt, I am going to bless it right now. I'm going to release and empower the grace of God upon the water you want to bless. So you can hold your water in your hand. Wherever you are, the power of grace knows no boundary. He sent forth the world and the were created. Let us pray. Father, King of glory, I send your blessing upon the water that we bless right now in your name. Sanctify it and make it holy. By the power of your Holy Spirit, this water will no longer remain ordinary but carries your divine power. Wherever your children sprinkle this water, may every power of darkness be silenced. Whenever, Lord, they are touched by this water, may grace meet them at the point of their needs. When they taste of this water, may there be power to reveal their situation and restore their glory. May this water by which God deliver Israelite from the bondage and clutches of Egypt, may it become source of deliverance for your life. As you use it, every enemy that trouble or pursue you, just as the water of the Red Sea swallowed up the armies of Egypt, so shall this water swallow and destroy their powers before you. I ask God who killed Naama by water, that as you use this water in the name of the Lord, every affliction, sickness, and disease shall be swallowed up by the grace of this water. As the Lord cured the blind man by washing in the pool, may the power of God's grace cleanse you and cure you of every affliction. Every spirit of blindness will lose its power as you come in touch with this water. As the angels come to stir up the water that anyone who jumped into it will be healed. May God's grace begin to stir up this water with blessing His name. That every time you call upon the name of the Lord using it, it shall act in your favor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I bless the salt by the power of His name. All you salt, I command you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit, you shall no longer remain ordinary salt but carries divine blessing. Wherever this salt and water will be made, uh, sprinkled, may the power of God be made manifest and the power of darkness be consumed. As salt destroys warm, so shall this holy salt destroy every power that troubles, threatens your life. King of glory, Release, Lord, your ocean grace and power upon this salt and upon this water. That as your children use it, may your power be revealed again. Lord, when salt is poured into water, it dissolves, only to be felt in its taste. I pray, Lord, that your grace will melt into the life of your children, only to be experienced in power, in glory, and in honor. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We shall receive the blessings of the Lord, the Eucharistic blessing. Amen. You highly lifted up, there is no one.
Congratulations, children of God, and welcome to the sixth month. May God Almighty bless your life, bless your home, bless your family, bless your children, bless the work of your hands, bless your life, bless your health, bless your head, bless your eyes, bless your ears, bless your mouth, bless your nose, bless your hand. Bless your body, bless your legs, bless your feet, bless your womb, bless your heart, bless your blood, bless your bones, bless your organs, bless everything about you. In the name of Jesus, I welcome you to June, the month for an exceptional grace. Hallelujah. There's going to be an exceptional grace for you this month that will change your story. Amen and amen. This grace will locate you and will reposition you for a miraculous breakthrough in the name of Jesus. By this grace, you will not fall into the trap the enemies have set for you. You will not fall into the trap the enemy has set for you. When you kick the ball against the wall, tell me what happens. It bounces back. May the grace of God so fortify your life. Any man or woman that will shoot arrow at you, it will bounce back and return to them. So shall it be. Congratulations, child of God, and I thank God and I, I celebrate God with you and I conclude this hour, this new month. I know together by the grace of God, we will meet again at the end of this sixth month. In the name of Jesus Christ, every eye that behold this moment, every heart connected to this hour, by this time, we will again meet to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. You will not fail. You will not fall, you will not die. Wherever you are, can I hear you say, I receive the exceptional grace of God. That will locate me to relocate me into a glorious destiny. I receive it. Because I know I am justified by the blood of the Lamb. I am undeniably blessed for a miraculous breakthrough. I will never lack the exceptional grace for a divine touch. So shall it be, so will it be, so must it be, in the name of Jesus, amen. Let's just bow your head as I conclude this hour with you, with this song. Grace my life with your presence, Lord. Grace my life. Grace my life with your power, Lord. 
Grace my life with your healing. Grace my life with your anointing, Lord. And no one will terminate what you have for me. And no one will terminate what you have for me. And no children say amen and amen the Lord be with you and may almighty God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit bless you protect you defend you Grace your life forever and ever. And the child of God say, I am exceptionally graced for a miraculous breakthrough. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. Bless the be God. God bless you. God bless your home. God bless your family. God bless your children. God bless your destiny. God bless your work. God bless your job. God bless your health. God bless your life. God bless our nation, Nigeria. God bless the nations of the world. God bless our state. God bless our land. God bless Africa. God bless the entire world. God bless you. 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 And happy new world of grace. God bless you and I wish you all well. Amen and amen.